he's just one. trolling. You're not here to he's debate true. us. <clears throat> All right. So next question, I'm looking you're up this getting on the good to it. All right, um, Mr. Snuck knows next. <laughs> Can we get it on the good foot? What does that mean? Bring your get best, good bro. Foot? Bring, bring your best. All right. You what size? Is it? The two best what that you size, got. What size is the sun and the earth to you as a flat earther? I don't know. I'm, I can't. I, I can make guesswork. I'm not guesswork. What oh, means okay. do I have to uh, how, what I have to actually be certain for myself exactly correct precisely this? Do you, you know? have do you have since you don't know about that? Uh, thank God. Uh, do you have do you have any opinion on the rising levels of seas and put this? Oh, okay, hold on, There's Michael. Global warming. You believe in global <laughs> warming, Michael? No, I don't. No, there's no globe. How could there be a global warming? Okay, let's just call it. <laughs> let's just call That's it good. flat warming. Do you believe in flat warming? Well, if we raise the CO2 level on the flat earth, then our deserts would turn to forest and it'd be a good thing. Yeah. How would the deserts turn to forest? We're carbon-based life form. All plants are carbon-based life form. Plants eat carbon. CO2 is carbon. It would feed the plants. We would have more growth, better growth, larger production of plants, which would create a more lush and green environment. It would be good for okay. us. Okay. That sounds... Oh, look up there. Oh, look up, look up there. Uh, by the way, by the way for, for all people in the stream, look, look, up, look up the medieval okay. hollow yeah, the fact that people know we're carbon-based life form and the planet is all carbon-based life form, but they're scared of carbon in the atmosphere, it shows how ignorant people really can be. But I'm pretty sure if you suck up enough carbon, you would probably die. I you? use CO2 in my greenhouse. I go in there every day without a mask. Okay. It's, all, it's all good, bro. Okay, why do you put it on a mask? Hey, Hold on, what? I don't have to. It's a 35% level of carbon in there. And okay. I keep it 35 to 40%. The plants heat it up so quick and put off oxygen that there's, it, it's hard to even maintain the level of carbon in my greenhouse. Yeah, yeah but you were saying you were a carbon-based uh, life we form. Are, with we know that carbon we, is a poison. We and are running. carbon. Do you not know what we are as humans? Earth, yes, earthlings, yes. To put it in your words, earth, earthlings. <laughs> <laughs> we're carbon-based life form every form of life on this planet is carbon-based it's essential for life on your realm yes, yes. we're also a blood-based life form but you can't mix type, um, AB blood with O, o positive that, that, blood that don't even apply to why are you bringing that up carbon is, a <laughs> okay. natural, was, carbon is a natural element in our atmosphere in our environment, and it's essential to life here. It's needed. Okay. It's I'm not needed. debating. You. What's your point? What is your point? What's all this point? My point? I was wondering what your point is. You're the one talking about <laughs> carbon. Carbon is perfect for it. We, we have deserts, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, hold on, hold okay, on. Let me stop right deserts, here. Right? Let me stop right you here, could, hold on. You could literally green the planet. True. We could green no, the can. whole planet. Yes, we could. Carbon, I'm telling Dude, you. Dude, you need more than carbon to grow plants, especially oh. in a desert. Yeah, yeah you need water yeah, as well. You increase plant life on the planet, you change the weather patterns on the planet. But, but, but. You change your evaporation, have... condensation, all this. Hey, stuff. guys, I have, I have a life example. And it's so not like we're uh, saying that all hey, the stuff. Michael, 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 I have a life example of saying in Tenerife, in the last 40 years, they planted a lot of stuff in the south side of the island, which used to be a desert, and it changed the weather on the island to actually have south like... Outside of what? It did. It's incredible. It changed the whole behavior of the cloud. <laughs> every said on the island he lives on, they planted a bunch of stuff on the side that was a desert, and it changed the weather on that side of the island he yeah, lives that's possible. What's your well, point? unless I know which My island is that I can 
Hold on. Listen, listen, we're not saying forests would magically appear in the desert. We're saying forests would grow slowly and expand. Yes. More like the the I is, look, look, the Canary Island of Canary South Island. Coast. Yeah, there uh, on okay, the south okay. coast, and they 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 planted extreme a lot of stuff there, and it actually changed so, the weather pattern. So you know, there's a difference between sand and actual dirt, right? You, if you, you think a forest couldn't take over a desert, you're crazy, man. But 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 there's Beach people front. who've been living Beach in. Front. If you don't keep the forest back from the beachfront, it will take over the beachfront. What on. is the beachfront? Hold on. What, There's is, been what is the beachfront? It's saying. Hold on. Could I, could, I, could I finish my statement, bud? Okay. But. <laughs> There's been people who've been living in the Sahara for thousands of years. They can't There's really trees plant in the trees. Sahara. There uh -huh. are trees in the Sahara. They can, there there not is enough trees life in the, the desert, desert, man. It's called a fucking oasis, dude. How many times have <laughs> you ever been to the desert? <laughs> too many times but listen to me <laughs> but I listen to me in the desert, I, mean, like, I mean you there have, is, you have, half, you have so half a point you have, there is you, have half, you have half a point to MJ. of course if it's a strong and a big As desert it takes, expand, it takes it takes a lot to take it back they over, but it's the forest forward with leaves okay what they produce if they produce nuts berries fruits leaves all this stuff falls onto the forest and it, and it changes the element or the chemical composition of the floor of the forest and this promotes growth too <laughs> and the more carbon you have the more fruit you have the more leaves you have the more nuts you have the more the forest grows it's a it's a whole system dude there is no yeah. place on Be this cool. planet that, that plant life would not grow given enough carbon because that's all the food they need no, no, a no. Little, a little bit of water and a lot of carbon. Dude, I, I'm a okay. farmer. I know what the hell I'm talking about. I grow greenhouse food all year long. Do you grow do you grow in the desert of the Sahara, my friend? It, it's possible. It, Absolutely possible. How many times I gotta tell you? Listen, listen, you're, listen, you're, listen, look what look what like Israel did. Desert. Look what Israel did. They did it. Israel did it. Okay, Israel is next to the sea, but hey, look what they did with a little bit of irrigation on the Nile River. Yeah. Israel's next to the sea. That's next to the lake. Can you? You can't use salt water. Shut up! Can, you can't use can, salt water. Come on, you don't can, know your high. Jesus you Christ! Can you let me get it, MJ? A, a little salt bit of water. when you raise the carbon level, a little bit of forest turns into a large forest. In the forest, not feeds without itself. water, bud. Not without water. When you change yes. weather patterns because of plant life, water is brought to the plants. No, you Thanks. need water before the plants what need water. You, hey, what to you grow. need to do is the plants won't come. And then... <laughs> hey, when I you mean, say bud, can... when you say bud, do you mean it? <laughs> you know, think, when a forest burns should, uh... down. When a forest burns down and a forest floor is covered with ashes, you know what happens? A bigger forest grows out of it. It's true. Oh, tell that I to California it. who's fighting I forest fire. I, I, dude, I dude, it's, how we, it's how we fucking seed forests right here in Michigan. That's, that's what I've seen here, by the way, in the Canarian Islands. Check it out two years, three years Yeah, back. when we forest stopped growing, we, 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 we had to speak fires. They I burst down. down. It's ashes are good for plant life. Yeah. Ashes is pure minerals. It's pure minerals. Basically, yeah. we have pine. Pi yeah. They burn fucking down and come back next year double size. Yeah. Sure. Most states have controlled burns to help seed their forests constantly. Okay, consistently. but they have fertilized. They have fertilized dirt. They don't fertilize the forest, man. They just years. burn the forest down. No, the ash is the what? fertilizer, man. The ash is the no, you seriously saying? Oh. See, yeah. what you don't get is watch after after humans or after life. The fucking forest to take over asphalt roads. It would knock down concrete Are bridges. Are you talking about that movie, you can't my friend? Stop, you can't stop plant life on this planet. No environment will stop plant life if man wasn't here wrecking it. Desert will. Desert no, will, dude. No, it won't. You're just really, yeah. You're just 
ignorance of the understanding of it. That's all. The oasis. Listen, it start with the oasis and the forests that are already in the desert. They would grow increasingly. Yeah. They would all okay. say the day. they would always spread. They would seed. Now the forest would seed part of the damn desert every year through wind drift. It would it would fertilize the desert, and eventually the forest through would take. Over. I'm not talk, I'm not talking about in ten years, dude. I already said this. It wouldn't be a More magical like three thousand years. Well. Maybe a thousand years, but eventually we're not going to be in in a thousand. Years. We're not going to be here in a the thousand. The human years. race will be. It doesn't take a thousand years for a forest to grow, dude. It doesn't either. It takes more in like the 10. desert. It might. <laughs> no, that's because you're naive enough to think that sand is going to stop plant life, and it, it won't. Concrete yes, it will. Desert. Yes, it will. Listen, listen. Where you live, do you see do you see weeds and plant life growing up through the asphalt? Why the concrete. Yes. Why <laughs> the concrete. Do you see do you see grass go through the fucking concrete? <laughs> yes. Why yes. Here's your first you If concrete can't stop plant life, how the hell is the desert gonna do it, man? Because with a lack of nutrients. There's something about this? a forest. You're a moron. <laughs> lack of nutrients, forest. my friend. Do you know you that concrete? Forest. Concrete's got tons of nutrients, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, dude, the desert doesn't lack nutrients. Of the forest. Yes, it does. That's why it's the desert. If it lacks nutrients, how the fucking cactus is still fucking... All we need to do is put concrete there, there in the desert. Problem solved. The desert, dude, you just dude hold on. One of you asked why, why, if it lacks <laughs> nutrients, why does... Why does uh, cactuses but, uh, still grow? Listen, dude, if they're so fucking okay, lacking of nutrients, then how the fuck did the Egyptians live there? Because the Egyptians <laughs> lived next to the <laughs> Nile. The Nile, the fresh water. You're living in denial. <laughs> no, he, he been, he's been in deserts. Got it. Did someone set him up? Did someone set him up for the you're living in denial? Because that was painful. <laughs> yeah, he said himself. That was horrible. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't miss we it. Could make the, we could make forests grow in the desert right now if we irrigated the shit. Oh, go, years. go, dude, go. go Within to the 20 desert, years, man. we could have forests. Yeah. You said you said it won't happen in a thousand years earlier. Now you're saying it's <laughs> look, twenty. Look, not NASA is <laughs> no. You NASA, said NASA, if we NASA is claiming. I can agree. Yeah, if you're well, saying if we irrigate, yeah, but I mean, wasn't it's not there, just like irrigation? Wasn't, sure. wasn't there plans? Listen, wasn't there wasn't there plans to actually carbonize a planet and make it green? Come on, guys. They coming up. With, they actually tell us on the other side. Carbon is good for plant life. Can we agree to that? Now? Okay, right. shit is good for plant life. I can't yes. shit in yeah, the exactly. desert and then plants yes, will grow. It is. Actually, you're right. You're right. <laughs> and this, this argument started with the carbon argument. What he's saying, basically, you can look this up. If you put carbon to your greenhouse, you literally have more growth. Okay. Big time. Okay, but. It's actually but. fertilizer. So that you, it takes the C out of the CO2, releases the O, and builds the C into his body. Because because we were in this topic but right now. It has not been good. There's a lot of horticulture going on he, in the he, flat earth. He, he initially <laughs> asked <laughs> us if we believe in global warming due to CO2 and that CO2 is a poisonous thing. No, it's not. It's good yeah, for us. Oh, Dude, if... CO2 is so good. Why don't you only breathe CO2? Yeah, it's a global one. You can breathe oh, CO2. I, we are, we, we live in... I use it in my greenhouse listen, and I go no, there. No, exclusively. We, I don't need oxygen, we, man. Listen, we, we, listen, you idiot. We live Burn. in a whole system. Plants and humans are interacting with each other. When the plants are well, we are well, man. Okay, I'm not talking to your, your snot nosed little comment against me. Like, why didn't you breathe Dude, CO2? Don't get solely into your feeling. Yeah, but like, solely breathing CO2, like, I'm not an idiot. Okay? Oh, don't talk horrible. down. Don't talk horrible. down to me. Don't Hans, talk down. Hans, you're better than this, man. You're better than this. Yeah, you're being yeah. Don't talk down to me making your snot nosed little game. Okay? 
we telling you and you can look this up for yourself co2 is fantastic for plant life if the plants I'm are flourishing humans, humans, if the plants are flourishing humans and all <laughs> life is flourishing okay right go to Listen, the sierra if, desert if you raise the CO2 level, you feed the blah, plants blah. they grow bigger they grow stronger and they put off more oxygen so rising exactly. Excuse me, rising CO2 increases the rate of <laughs> oxygen output by plants. Exactly. So you are an oxygenated environment, higher okay. oxygen. And why is that? Why, why is it? Because there's a O, there is a O in man. Right, CO2. Exactly. You said it right. <laughs> carbon and oxygen. Carbon, CO2 isn't just carbon. It's carbon and oxygen. Oh, we missed that. There is a oh. Most of these, listen, this is how they got sucked into global warming because they're idiots. They don't know nothing about it. They didn't pay attention in science class. Science taught me that the world is round. Science class taught me that. No, you probably like something like that. Science I, I, class. Did you? I was making a in kindergarten what? by a bitch with an associate's degree. Michael, did you saw this guy who actually put four times CO2 in the house and he had this tomato plant and the tomato plant in the end grew 15,000 tomatoes. Yeah, first, it, first it was like first huge. Like, it was like a monster tomato plant. Yeah, CO2 yeah, doubled the output of my green nice. Oh, yeah, my I'm just saying you learned it in kindergarten and most of the people that teach that only have an associate's degree. You know what that is? Like the most remedial college <laughs> this degree is, you can get. Insane. Basically, <clears throat> you learn that grow from a kindergarten teacher. Michael's exactly right. I agree with him. Higher CO two levels, the, so the more, <laughs> more, the plants flourish, and then in turn produce okay, higher oxygen. I, you know. The problem about this is, this is uh, I, I tell, I tell you. What's, what's wrong? What's I tell you what, I answer your question, I tell you what's wrong. <laughs> you know what's wrong about it? Because they teach you as a child when you are not able of critical thinking and scrutinizing. So that teacher and that high school teacher was teaching in an age where he was not able to scrutinize. And later on, he's putting out his belief system because he's believing in the globe. He didn't know it's a globe. Man. We are all made to believe. You understand? Now that I think about it, she told me blue was blue and yellow was yellow. What yeah, if she you are, man. Wrong all this time. Yeah. What are you thinking, man? I never, I think I never it, even yeah. questioned. Yeah, exactly. You think. Uh... <laughs> Well, the color of the sky is a little bit different than the shape of the place you live in because you can't go out and check for yourself. You understand? Wait, the sun's yellow. That's the big difference. So That's a big difference. Oh, I don't know. You had to unmute him if you wanted me to talk. I was going to give somebody else the opportunity to answer, ask questions. I know you worked really hard in school to get those grades and to, to learn all of this awesome science and you're really proud of your achievement and your accomplishments and your degrees i, I know this but the be more nice man. picture of a tree in the desert <laughs> <laughs> yeah. awesome man i bet it's yeah. a big tree too oh my god i mean this is in a way this this the whole two is so genius because if they make us believe that what, what plants need and what produces more oxygen because plants use it is actually dangerous to the planet that that's makes true. them able that makes them able to actually tax us breathing i mean like it's crazy shit man get rid of the carbon you get rid of the oxygen because you're killing the plant life and now we got to rely on them even for a breath of fresh air exactly and that's where our generations, our next generations, will be because they're too moronic to even see it coming. They they believe men, and they because they think 
some politician or scientist or some kind of label makes them different than other men, and they would never lie. Men lie. Get over that How about this? Just no man. Yeah. How about this? The first scientist to build wow. me something that will help me control the air and people breathe gets a billion dollars. Let's get to work. <laughs> Well, let's just tax them for carbon. Is that JP Morgan? One billion. I think it's. It, I think it was more. It was Maurice Strong, wasn't it? <laughs> Who created the Bank of International Settlements in its own scheme, basically, and the same guys actually who. The same guys talking about ice coming before. Oh dear. I think they call it, they call them contracts, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Blockchain will eat contracts and corporations and governments. <sighs> it's really a shame, Michael, like you're saying that there is so much proof eventually have like miracle like things happening if we were give plants more co2 like i'm not sure about your desert thing but it would sure help <laughs> all right so um what was it oh yeah do you believe that asteroids are flat too or are you okay with them being ground in in all types of shapes with all types of depths can you show me an asteroid, please? Yeah, if we you don't know what me? shape they are. They could be the missiles for all we do. They're a <laughs> <with> the missile. <laughs> well, they get to it before any of us do, right? I can answer this question. <clears throat> In the year 2020, Japan will launch man-made asteroids. <gasps> so I am going to assume that, yes, asteroids are 3D. And we are fine. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> now, can you show? Uh, can you get serious? <laughs> Come on, show me one. I want to see one. It's a rock. <clears throat> well, it's a rock. Show... <laughs> well, can you please show me one you talked about? Show well, me yeah, one. even the one in Russia that was in everybody's dash cam, that light flying across the sky. We don't know what that is. You can't tell if it's a rock or what it is. But if you order now, you can get a really big discount to get an asteroid show for your birthday. You can get it as a gift for a friend for Christmas. I mean, we, we, we can start selling asteroids now. Like they come in many different colors and flavors, and shapes and sizes. We even have flat ones. <laughs> oh, I want to eat an asteroid. asteroid. I want a hot dog flavored asteroid. <laughs> I mean, by the way, uh, Astrid could well be flat, no? Anyway. I believe the Matrix is actually true. This is real. That's a real picture of Astrid. That's real. Totally real. Great. It's on fire. <laughs> it's on fire on the way down. This thing looks like it was pulled out of the water. <clears throat> this is how good CGI is these days. Yeah, this is Photoshop. This has just been framed in. <laughs> That's a nice try though. That, yeah, where's the big hey, hey, look? What yeah, was this? Avatar. Avatar is real. Look, there is no gravity. This is just Avatar. Avatar was a real story. Trust it me. It was story. actually. It's all real. Yeah, there is time here. on Earth before the sun. Yeah. Everything was bioluminescent. <laughs> Speaking of time on Earth. How do you feel that the Earth began as a flat Earth? Odin <clears throat> and his brothers slain Ymir and used his body to build the Earth and his skull to build the sky. I like that. A creator made it. Yeah, well, we can only talk about... We can talk about and this because no one of us... Will. You believe in the Big Bang? He gets a tower of grace skull. This. He used Ymir's eyebrow to build the wall around Midgard to keep the giants out. That's how big Ymir was. 
No, I think I think nothing is made ever come into being. That's that's what I believe. You know. You know, all these rocks can be manipulated, eh? <clears throat> so that that what are you believing? In? You, you believe because, like, we can guess work. Neither you nor me seen it. <clears throat> oh, you're asking me what I believe happened, what created the world? Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. I, I because we are into guesswork now, so let's guess. Together. We really respect your opinions. <laughs> I, I don't really care. I don't know any of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, dude. He's pretty cool. <clears throat> I hey. mean, like, this is a, a vice man. Like, how do we know what happened? He came to be. I have another question, if you don't want to answer that one. <laughs> Why don't you go, go down the list? Go, go down the list of usernames and tell each of us what you think about us. Oh, my God. That's I'm kidding. Don't do that. Start with me. <laughs> We're waiting, Hans. I'm what? All right. If you man, if you mind me asking, do you know how how we live in a flat Earth, according to you? So how dig? How far do I have to dig until I? reach the other side of the earth or do you do you believe in a middle earth where i dig to a point where i like go into another another earth or something like that and i get to meet like what? other people what do you believe we in? don't know <clears throat> we don't know because deepest, deepest. Whole thing so far was 12 miles or something. no less than eight no, like eight miles yeah just under i think so for all we know they could have <laughs> hit a barrier you can't even yeah, go that deep don't know. in the ocean. Because how come they're not going any deeper? Yeah, we don't know. So, <clears throat> how deep have we been down into the ocean? 11? Just the Mariana's oh. Trench. Yeah, how deep is that? Very Six tall. miles down? Can't be, can't be good down there. Can't be good. <laughs> yeah, I know that much. It's just dark down there. Scary. Really? Holy shit. I mean, it's uh, scary to scientists. Is it, is it not scary to scientists to actually say we don't know? They always have to have some kind of answer, even if they don't. Especially if it was something was made by a creator. You can't explain everything. We're only humans. We can theorize. So I looked this up, and it says that we we dig... 40, 40,200, it's 40,230 miles. How can you dig we that much? Dig, we didn't dig Give us that one. one. Give us that one. I want yeah, to see bring that, that up because you, I mean, the, science, up. the science says the ball is only 8,000 miles wide. So how can you be Oh, can you please cite where it says that? Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's only... It's only 12,000 kilometers, you know, like 6,000 miles. How much is it? Yeah, like, it's in science books in high school, it's on Google. It's like all over so the how internet. Can, how can we dig 40,000 kilometers? In... I don't know. What? 40,000 kilometers, you said? Yeah. He said something no, to that. You missed quoting. Uh, 40,230 <clears throat> feet. Uh, feet. Feet. Uh, feet. What's a foot? Hey, wait. Here when did they change feet. the uh, the metric? Uh, metric system is so complicated. How many feet equals a, a kilometer now? I'm sure. What is it, like 6,000 or something like that? I forget. That's 12, 12 kilometers. That's uh, 40,000 feet is 12. 40,000 feet is 12 kilometers. Okay, <clears throat> so in a flat earth world, how do you account for the oceans i mean what caused what made the oceans if the world is flat in fact it would make more just i thought if the world the globe where's the curve the asteroids if there's a globe where's a curve where is the yeah. curve uh you around the world earth. i guess put that around in the there. earth 
How, how so does you one occur? <laughs> you think a bunch of asteroids crashed into the Earth and that's 